Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to deploy WordPress in Docker. Now I'm actually using a Docker Swarm cluster right here, but this will work on Docker standalone as well. So let's get right into the tutorial. So you can see I'm on port N, um, which is if you haven't watched the um, other Docker videos, I show you how to install port N. Um, but um, all we need to do is first create a network. So we go to networks on the left, like that, and click add network. So you're going to give you a networking name. So if I do WP for WordPress, NW for network, then give it a subnet. I'm going to do that. Make sure your network does that. If you want more details on networks, by the way, watch my networking one on Docker. So you can see that there. I just want to click create a network. Oh, sorry. Uh, let me change this out for another IP range. I'm already using that IP address range in my Docker Swarm cluster. Click create network. Network successfully created. All we want to do is click uh, back onto containers and add container. So we're going to create two containers for WordPress. We need a database and the actual WordPress um, database image. So the name of it is going to be WPDB, MariaDB for the image, like that. Scroll down. We don't need to set any ports because it's going to be internal to the network. Um, volumes, we can leave at default. Network, we want to make sure we select our WP network and the host name to DB. Then we're going to head over to hub.docker.com, the WordPress, for, uh, WordPress page, which I've got uh, linked below in my blog. Scroll to the bottom till you see the Docker uh, Compose here. And we want to copy these environment variables one by one. You can see there's four. We want to copy that in the env. So we're going to click that four times and copy them across. Then once we've copied them across, the DB is going to be DB. The user, I'm going to do it as admin. And the password is just password. Don't do this if it's public to the net. The random root password, set it to 1, which means yes, it is going to be random. Then all we need to do is create a restart policy of always. Then click deploy container. So the container is successfully deployed. Now, all we need to do is create the other container for the WordPress one. So let's do that. So again, we're going to click Add Container. This one we're going to call WP Web. The image is going to be WordPress, obviously. Then we're going to publish a new port, making sure it's on the same node if you're using Swan as the other one. The container port is going to be 80. Then the host you can put as whatever, so I'll just put 7000. Then scroll down again, go to network, make sure it's on the WPNW and call this web01 for example. Then go on EMV, add four variables and we want to select the ones up here, the WP uh, variables instead of the Maria or MySQL DB variables. So we're going to copy all these across. And we're going to fill out the details the same as the um, other Docker container we created. So the host that we named is DB. Remember when we did it in network, we said DB is the host name. The user was admin. The password was password. And the DB name was DB. Then we're going to go to restart policy. Then click always. Then click deploy container. So as you can see, it's successfully deployed. So if you head, head to the uh, IP address of the Docker cluster or Docker standalone uh, machine and then put the port on the end, you can see that we get a WordPress setup screen. So I'll just walk you through the setup. Pretty self-explanatory on-screen instructions. It's like your uh, country. And it's going to ask you for a site title. So I'll just put YouTube. 
and an actual password. Quick confirm use of weak password if you have a weak password and just put a random email address in. Click install WordPress. Click login. We're going to enter that username and password that we just set. And as you can see, we're in WordPress. Now, if we click this button up here, this will take us to our main site, which looks like this at the moment. We've got, on the main dashboard, we've got a post section where we can add a post. Pages section where we can add some pages. Theme section where we can add new themes, which is 5,000 different themes that you can choose from. And plugins where we can add plugins. It goes from this all the way to this because the HSVE website is built on WordPress. And as you can see, it's looking a lot nice. So thanks ever so much for watching. Goodbye.